My name is Yuan On, and I am a police officer. Every day, officers of the Singapore Police Force carry out their missions with courage, loyalty, integrity, and fairness. What we are asked to do is simple, to be a force for the nation. That's why we love what we do. 2011 was a busy and challenging year, but we pushed ourselves to the limit and achieved our goals. Our effective enforcement and concerted outreach have helped make Singapore one of the safest cities in the world. Crime rate was at a 20-year low, and several major crimes were significantly reduced. Being prepared was a key to our success. In 2011, we carried out many exercises that tested our capabilities to the limit. Our officers planned and executed numerous successful raids and operations. We also helped safeguard Singapore through constant vigilance at many significant events in 2011. Community engagement remains a top priority for us. We continue to engage the public through various initiatives that targeted the different segments of our population. Besides reaching out to the community through traditional means, we use Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and other social media to forge an online bond. This has strengthened our partnership, which is key to preserving Singapore's safety and security. As crime evolved, we also continually upgraded our capabilities. New departments were formed to deal with future challenges. Looking back, it has been a good year for us. But it was not always so peaceful and we have come a long way to get to where we are today. Since the founding of modern Singapore, the growth of our force has been intertwined with the fate of our nation. We develop capabilities to meet the immediate needs of our island state. Our force was crucial in stemming out the lawlessness that was rampant throughout the nation's formative years, and we maintain law and order during times of turbulence and unrest. As Singapore developed, we played a larger role internationally and drew on the populace to strengthen the force. In the 1980s, the force redefined its focus on community policing. We started the MPP system in 1983 and worked hard to strengthen our relationship with the community. It was a success. Community placed their trust in us and we had them on our side in the fight against crime. The community policing model evolved with the introduction of MPCs in 1997. The MPC system was set up to offer a one-stop policing centre for the community. MPC officers performed additional roles such as on-scene investigations. As the century turned, advancements in policing technologies and developing a world-class police force became our priorities, as the community deserved nothing but the best. It's incredible how far we have come and how our force has developed together with our nation into a modern, efficient and capable crime-fighting organisation. 
going into the rapidly changing future, we have to continue to evolve our policing model to stay ahead of the curve. Building on our strong foundation, we'll commence the transition to the new community policing system this year. Our community policing officers will be assigned to specific beats and will conduct foot and bicycle patrols to build closer relationships with community stakeholders. The establishment of a crime strike force at every MPC will tailor our crime fighting capabilities to the local community and enhance our effectiveness in fighting crime. We will also install police cameras at all HDB blocks and multi-storey car parks by 2016. MPPs will be enhanced with the latest technologies to deliver police services as proposed by the student community at the Enhanced MPP Design Competition. Singapore has a small population. Thus, we must constantly invest in technological multipliers to stay ahead. Technology will allow us to deploy our resources more efficiently and effectively, both on land and at sea. Technology will also feature strongly in the development of our forensic capabilities and help us solve crimes that might have remained unsolved otherwise. But our most important resource is our dedicated officer on the ground. Hence, besides technology, we must also invest in our officers. We live in exciting times, where change is the only constant. We must always remain on our toes, keep alert, and stay ahead. But some things just won't change. The trust we have built up with our community since independence, the strong partnerships with our stakeholders, the courage, loyalty, integrity, and fairness of our officers. These are the constants in my life, in every police officer's life. We have safeguarded our home for generations and we work to secure a safe future for all Singaporeans. Because we are truly a force for the nation.